Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Hello, hello, and welcome to What's Next Wednesday. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Michael Hyland. I'm the host of the Parkinson's Disease Education YouTube channel, podcast, and obviously we have social media too, Facebook and so forth. If you're watching live, you're probably either on YouTube or Facebook. Welcome, one and all. Appreciate you being here. The only cost of this uh, live stream is a like to the video. So please do give uh, the video a like, share it with others if you want them to hear about this. And um, what's next Wednesday is a little video where we do an update on upcoming events on the content, uh, the YouTube and podcast and so forth. So welcome for that. And uh, hey, Mark, thanks for being here. Good to see you. Um, anybody that's watching live, let, let us know you're here. Say hi. I'd like to um, <clears throat> acknowledge you just like I did with Mark. Um, and we'll do that. So um, what are we going to talk about today? So this is, um, we have a, an upcoming episode that's going to be aired on, on Saturday this weekend. And actually, this was a live interview that was done uh, on, at the end of January. So you may have heard of Dr. Jonathan Satner Bernstein. Um, he is a physician who is researching treatment for Parkinson's disease. And that's what the title of this um, live stream implies is we talked about the principle of dopamine toxicity. And prior to our conversation or prior to looking into his work before discussing it with him, I had not really previously heard of that term before. Something that's really interesting and you'll learn if you watch this upcoming video, is that apparently in dopamine you have an issue, or in Parkinson's you have an issue of dopamine being released or an, a problem of production. So uh, those cells are dying off, but what's really interesting to learn is that the cells that produce dopamine in Parkinson's disease are actually, the ones that are still producing dopamine are holding too much dopamine within the cell. That's a really interesting thing to remember. So too much dopamine in the dopamine producing cells is actually toxic and deadly for those cells. So Dr. Bernstein is gonna share his, his advice and information and potentially, um, well actually I should say potentially, it is an ongoing trial right now for a brand new way to treat this with a medication that's already FDA approved. So that's even more interesting. So I want you to stay tuned for that, and please be sure to watch that. It's going to be really interesting, and that's available on the YouTube channel, and it will be a podcast form as well, an audio form, uh, most likely a week or two down the road. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, dopamine toxicity, a very important, not really talked about topic in the Parkinson's world. We tend to think of dopamine as something that's lacking, so we have to give dopamine or medication that turns into dopamine, so levodopa, so forth. Um, but we really haven't talked about or learned about uh, until recently now. His work, I hope, will open the door up to a lot more conversation about this. Um, to the principle of helping those dopamine-producing cells to get rid of excess dopamine. It's kind of a really counterintuitive thing to think about, but those cells are basically being killed by too much dopamine, which is a wild thing to, to talk about. So I think you'll really enjoy that. Right now, the live interview, so it was a live interview done on the YouTube channel. And it is right now a members only video up until Saturday when it becomes public. So if you want to get an early jump, please consider our channel memberships at any level. It could be the lowest base level at the uh, Ask Me Anything, and that would give you access now. But if you wait till Saturday, you can certainly watch it as a public video, um, and it will be available then. But something you should know too is we do a weekly, almost weekly, uh, Ask Me Anything video series. Uh, live on Fridays, 
uh, right now it's on Fridays, <clears throat> and that is uh, something that's available to our channel members. So uh, if you are interested in ask, getting a chance to ask questions about Parkinson's disease, get them answered live um, on the cuff, or off the cuff, I should say, on the fly, that's what I meant to say, on the fly, off the cuff, whatever you want to say it, that's what that membership level is for, and that's what that weekly AMA is for. It's almost every week. Some weeks I've had to cancel it, but I usually let everybody know and communicate about it. Um, <clears throat> so that's what's coming up this week is, we've got, of course, I've got our weekly AMA, or almost weekly, and uh, the, the interview with Dr. Bernstein, which will air this coming weekend, unless you want an early access to it, and just let me know, or you can join our channel memberships for that, and there's links to do that below. Um, <clears throat> everybody that's here, I appreciate you watching. Um, let me know if you have questions while we're here on the live today. Be happy to answer anything I can. Um, I probably will put up a poll, by the way, uh, asking you all for input on the video or podcast episode that'll be coming up after this. Um, <clears throat> we've got several topics that have been suggested. I'd like to hear people's feedback on that. So, particularly on the YouTube channel, I'm going to put a poll up um, in the community section or the post section about that. And um, one of the topics I was going to bring up today, and let me know if this would be of interest to you, is one of my longtime subscribers on the channel and uh, had, had been a member at one point. She actually brought up the, the topic of, uh, hey, Pam, good to see you, <clears throat> brought the topic of menopause and Parkinson's disease. And she's a fairly young individual with Parkinson's has been going through a, or have, has gone through menopause while being diagnosed with Parkinson's. Um, she's kind of going through a crisis now of whether she actually has PD or not. Um, that's a long story. But anyway, <clears throat> they, they actually pointed to menopause as a potential source of dementia symptoms in some individuals. Um, I could see that happening because hormones make, make people do crazy things. And there's a lot of changes in hormones at menopause or perimenopause. So, but that could definitely have a big impact on persons with Parkinson's. So, um, and there's a ton of individuals with PD that are young enough to go through menopause while they have PD and even have childbearing years with Parkinson's. So it's just definitely a real reality of the situation. So let me know if that's an interesting topic to you, but I will put a poll up officially uh, to ask that. And if that's, um, among the other topics will uh, that will come up, I definitely will at some point cover that, um, if not one of the the, the um, most upcoming videos that's going to happen. So, um, <clears throat> so for anybody that's joined us since we started, um, be sure to look out for the. Um, here's the thing: is it's not a premiere, so I'll have to put a link to it. But that video that's going to be public made public on Saturday, the the previously live interview. I'll be sure to put a post with a link to it on the community section or the post section of the channel so you can find it um, because it's basically going from a members only video to, to, to public. So it may not show up with notifications as well. So I'll be sure to, to put a link to it directly on the channel page so that it could be a little more easily accessible. Um, <clears throat> one more quick mention uh, excuse me, <clears throat> one more quick mention of our memberships before I conclude <clears throat> is we have a membership section right now. It's called Parkinson's 101. I'm going to rebrand that potentially, but we are doing a, a course series, and right now it's every when, every Monday, Wednesday at 9 o'clock with a question and answer session at the end of the week. <clears throat> That's all included. And so... Uh, if you are interested in doing a class, a live class, that's something you can do with, with that membership. So consider that, please, if you're interested. Um, I, the class is actually a standalone class you can do as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be through a YouTube membership, but I'm giving access to the YouTube or for the YouTube members to that course and the playlist right now. And that's up on our channel is a private playlist or unlisted playlist. So um, it's called Parkinson's Roadmap, and it's a course. It's designed to take you <clears throat> basically from 
as the tagline is from confusion to confidence because there's so much information to be digested with Parkinson's disease that I, I wanted to make sure that it was approachable, digestible, easy to understand information. And <clears throat> the classes that we have don't last more than 30 minutes each. So they're not very long. And um, again, uh, digestible, easy to understand. And we have the Q&As also. If you have clarifying questions, you need to answer. The Q&As are actually live. So, well, the class is live, but also the Q&As are in our Zoom meetings. So we can actually talk to each other. Um, I chose to do that because the Zoom meetings tend to get a little bit overboard with commentary and questions during the class. So I found it was best to do the material uh, as a live broadcast, but not interactive, except for maybe comments like, live stream like this um but then do a q a where we can actually talk to each other and interact more um <clears throat> every week pretty much so my pleasure for doing this uh, i enjoy um teaching i enjoy um interacting with all of you and getting to know more people that are living with this disease and their loved ones so um yeah sorry i've talked a little bit longer than i intended but um yeah so just let just to let you know, uh, as of right now, if you join the Parkinson's 101 level, Parkinson's Roadmap course is available to you um, it, with that membership right now. So thanks a lot for being here today, and I will look forward to seeing you in the premiere um, on Saturday. Not premiere, sorry, the members only the public video on Saturday. So it'd be, <clears throat> be really interesting for you to learn about what Dr. Bernstein has to say. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't heard of Dr. Bernstein, his, uh, his uh, company is called Right Brain Bio, and they're doing independent and some funded research with grants for this uh, Parkinson's treatment that's new and upcoming. They will be at some point looking for participants for the trial for this drug, this new drug. It's not technically a new drug, but it's new for Parkinson's treatment. So um, I will share information on that as soon as it's available. Um, uh, Pamela asked, um, will you still have the Zoom call? Yes, you're more than welcome to attend the Q&As on Friday mornings um, <clears throat> that we're doing with the roadmap course. So you and Mark could certainly come together for that. Um, and I don't, now that I think about it, I usually provide a link by email. So uh, I'll remember to send you the Zoom link. Um, before that comes up. So, um, yep, um, there's 14 people watching, but I don't know if we have 14 likes yet. So be sure to like this video before you leave. And um, I'll go ahead and conclude there. I'm going to get some lunch. Uh, we got some kiddos. We, all of our kiddos are home because we have a s snow and ice day where I am. So, um, my pleasure, Pam. Thanks for having a great day. And I look forward to seeing you um, for the the um, <clears throat> watching of that video on Saturday. Be empowered. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.